field. A record attendance for the Copa Queens. Woodland Stadium attracted thousands of soccer fans who witnessed the Copa Queens beat Tanzania in a friendly game. Republican Vice President Mutale Nalumango came to boost the morale of the players as they prepare for the World Cup. Her presence and that of many Zambians stirred up the team to a hard-fought victory against the Twiga Stars. With the first half played to a goalless draw, coach Bruce Moape made three instant changes into the second half, among which was goal scorer Comfort Selemani, who found the back of the net in the 69th minute. one all was the full-time score as the Copa Queens saw their send-off game to a victory. For coach Bruce Moape, the narrow victory is an eye-opener and puts a demand for more training. The area where we need to improve is, uh, of course, it's actually up front. Up front, if you create goals you are not scoring, then you end up maybe conceding and lose the game. So we need to work on the, uh, uh, the strikers, make sure that uh, uh, they are able to score each time uh, they are in possession. For his Tanzanian counterpart, Bakari Shime, the game was played according to plan and that was to stop the Copa Queens from hitting the back of the net. Uh, for what they did in this game, they played very well, they follow our instruction and they give uh, the hard time uh, Copa Queens in this game. So as I said earlier yesterday, I told you, we are here to give some questions, Zambian, about their preparation. So uh, I hope coaches and technical staff of Zambia, uh, they saw uh, where they need to uh, correct it for the World Cup. Comfort Selemani, who gave the Copa Queens the long goal, is elated. Because there are more friendlies coming next, next, this same month. Mm, so I'm feeling I'm working hard so that, eh. The send-off game has given a ray of hope to the Copa Queens as they embark on their first World Cup encounter. Chan Sakunda, ZNBC Sport, Lusaka.